So what have I got today? The Rainbow of Truth. Well, actually, it's just a resistor colour code chart. After all this, I'm too lazy to bother to learn it. And I find that uh, <coughs> I just get the multimeter out. I just check the uh, resistance. And there you go. And trouble is, I can't always do that because sometimes the resistor's in a circuit. So I really need to learn the colour code chart. I need to understand it because at the very basics, you can just quickly look at a circuit, look at the resistor, go, that's the resistance, and you can start to understand the circuit you're looking at. So, really, I ought to get in there now to uh, understand these uh, colours. So, let's have a look at this chart. So, here's my uh, colour code chart for resistors. And there are two resistors that I'm going to be looking at. Well, uh, and the difference being is that one has four bands on it, and the other has five bands on it. And to be able to use this chart, I'll start with a four band. Now the four band resistor, that particular band will disappear. So I have the first, it's more like two halves. I've got the first half where I've got the colors and the values. And then on the other side, I've got the multiplier and the tolerance. And starting over here on the left, we've got the colors black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, grey, white. I've got gold and silver, but they relate to multiplier and tolerance. So I've got 10 colours, because we start from zero. As you can see, corresponding value to the colour. So if you can remember the colours, I can hopefully remember the value. Now, let's start with a four colour resistor, four band. <laughs> now, with each resistor, you'll see that the um, tolerance band is slightly separated from the uh, from the others. And uh, just so everybody knows, I'm reading from left to right. I know it's, uh, it can't really see the resistor, but the idea is, I suppose, to if you can see the chart, then uh, we'll be able to understand what I'm looking at. I've got here a brown, a red, and an orange. So, a brown, which is one, a red, that is two, and an orange, that is three. Now three is the multiplier. So I've got one, two, and the multiplier is 1K, 1,000 ohms. Or, as the three indicates, it's three noughts, because if I times that by 1,000, I'm gonna end up with three noughts added to the value of one, two, which is 12. So 12 with three noughts is 12,000. So I've got 12,000 ohm resistor or a 12K resistor. Now the tolerance band is gold, which tells me that it is a 5% tolerance. So I've got a 12,000 ohm or a 12K ohm resistor 5% tolerance. Let's have another four band. Let's have a look at this. This is red, violet, and brown. So we start with the first two because we know they're the values. So red, two, violet, seven. So 27. And then I've got a brown, which is one. So that's a times 10. I know I've put ohms there. It, it, everything's ohms anyway, so just it's 10 times by 10. Or as we can see here, add a zero to the end. So two, seven, zero, 270 ohm resistor. And the band is gold again, so we've got another 5%. 27, 270 ohm resistor, 5%. So far, so simple. Now, I have a five band. And again, supposedly the band that's the tolerance will be slightly separated from the other colors. But this time the first three represent the value. And then we have the multiplier and the tolerance. So on this resistor, 
it looks like I've got a brown one, a black zero, black zero. So that is 100, that's the value before I had my multiplier. And the multiplier is red, so that's times by 100. Or as you can see, add two zeros. So one, zero, 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 zero is 10,000. That's 10k ohm resistor. Now this one has a tolerance band that looks like brown. So that's one. And we go across to the tolerance. I got 1%. So I've got a 10k ohm or a 10,000 ohm resistor at 1%. Let's have a look at, uh, at this resistor. Again, So brown, again I say the tolerance is supposedly slightly separate, that's hard to determine sometimes. I have sat there with the resistor the wrong way going, that's a sudden such value, and it's not. So what have I got? I've got a brown, a black, a black, I've got another 100, but this time the multiplier looks like it's a brown. So I've got 100 plus another zero. So three zeros, that's a 1,000, that's a 1K resistor. 1K resistor, that's probably the most common value resistor I ever see on a circuit. Used so much, oh, they must make billions of 1K resistors. And the last band, brown. So brown, 1% tolerance. So I've got a 1,000 ohm, or a 1K ohm resistor, 1% tolerance. That doesn't seem too bad. Seems quite simple to me. But of course there are some resistors that are much lower values. That's where we've got this gold and silver. Now if I remember rightly you would have something like a 1, 0, so we'd have a brown and then a black and then the multiplier would be gold. I know you get the tolerance as well. So you could have gold, gold. So if we've got 10, 10 ohms, and we're going to times that by 0.1, we're ending up with a 0.1 ohm. We're having a 0 .0, 0 0.1 ohm resistor less than one ohm, that's a precision resistor. The likelihood is, as it wouldn't be a 5%, we might actually end up with something like a brown at the end. So we'd have a brown, a black, a gold, and then a brown. And we'd have a 1% 0 0.1 ohm resistor, a precision resistor. And uh, you might find that some of these precision resistors are really low values. You can have a 0 0.01 ohm resistor. So that would be a brown, a black, a silver with a tolerance of say 0.1%. So the whole colour chart would for that resistor would be brown, black, silver, violet. So when you look at that resistor you have to be careful because you might start off by looking at it and go well it's a violet it's a seven and then you go hang on a minute it's got gold as its second uh, colour. So it's uh, it's hard to uh, know which side to look from sometimes with some of these resistors but generally you'll get a feel I suppose. It's already starting to have a bit of a feel to me that uh, there's a certain way of looking at these resistors and if I'm dealing with resistors of ordinary values anything from sort of like 10 ohms upwards or I expect I'll probably be starting with something like 100 ohms and working up um, the likelihood is I'm not going to get, uh, get them wrong. If I really need to chat I can always put a multimeter uh, on them just to make sure I uh, say it's uh, it's these really low value 
low tolerance uh, uh, resistors, precision resistors, that are going to be the uh, thing that are going to throw me. So uh, that's the chart in its total. Hopefully it uh, be easy enough to learn. So there you go. That's my uh, colour code chart. Oh, the rainbow of truth. So hopefully I'm going to stick this on the wall, stick this behind my bench, and uh, when I'm looking at resistors, I can uh, quickly glance up and uh, try and learn this uh, this colour chart. Try and understand resistors a bit better from perspective of just looking at them rather than dragging the multimeter out. And hopefully it'll, it'll sink in before too long, and then uh, I'll just know it. But it's good to have one of these charts handy, just because the Sometimes you'll be looking at it, well, what colour is that? And uh, it's good to have it as reference. So put it on the wall and, uh, and keep it there at all times. You can get these charts off the internet. Look on the internet anywhere, put a search in, resist a colour code chart, you'll find them all over the place. Uh, lots of different uh, uh, websites and companies do them. You can even buy nice glossy ones. This particular one I did on a desktop publishing suite so that was quite simple could do on a spreadsheet if you like uh, get them off the internet print them off put them on your wall not a problem learn the colors now there are some software out there some free software some little programs that you can use um, there's one that I use it's called electronics assistant uh, nice little program, it is uh, uh, freeware, I'll put the link down below for that. Uh, it's, it's a great little help, uh, not just does resistors, it does capacitance and frequency and a whole bunch of other bits and pieces that uh, really help out when you're uh, trying to uh, calculate something for a circuit. So uh, there we go. The rainbow of truth.